welcome to itrafi from today i am going to start chapter 8 of class 10 computer science that is pointers in c pointers is a, it is a very confusing topic in c programming so everyone hates pointers and file input output in c programming even i don't like that much and especially for school level it's too difficult for student to learn about pointers now in uh, last year class 9 we have skipped few chapters one or two because of reduced syllabus so you might have not aware about it when we declare a variable then what happen that the variable occupy some spaces in our computer memory and that space has a specific location and it is identify by its address for example suppose you came from village to guwahati city and you are you rent a room to stay there now what happened when you stay inside the uh, in the room you will get a uh, address of that place suppose your room is in this poor area then your address new address will be this poor then by land name and house number something like that now if anyone want to come to you or want to meet you then you can give that particular address and they can come to your home now suppose after few days you are leaving the home you are leaving your rent home and someone else entered in that room now if someone will call come to that your previous address then what happen that person will get someone else instead of you so in c pointers is something like that what happens generally when we declare a variable it reserved a space in our computer memory and that particular space has a particular address so that address will be booked for that variable but when we delete or when we change or something do like that with that variable that what happened that address that space is assigned to someone some other variable or some other things so how this things work we will learn about that first let's write a simple program to clear the concept about programming first we'll write include as t d i o dot h then i n t main and after that our parenthesis i have uh, tried to explain to you about pointer in very simple language i don't know whether you are able to learn or not even if someone is good enough in programming and if you are thinking that uh, i am not explaining that well about pointers then actually what to do i have to think about the children who are very new to programming for to them this topics are very difficult they cannot easily understand the things some students students still now they don't understand what is a variable how we declare how we use it isn't it so the pointer will be headache for them and even in seba calendar also pointer is not added so if someone want to learn it then you can try it so let's declare a variable int x equal suppose i am writing 5 now if i want to know the location of this variable then what i will do print f here we will write location of variable x is now when we want to know the location of a memory space we write percent p not percent okay percent p and 
we after the quotation we'll give a comma and we'll write m person not directly the variable name that m person m person means the location of the variable that's why in scanf we write m person symbol means we tell the tell the compiler where to store the value it's done after that semicolon now suppose i want to know the value of variable x so i will write again printf and here we'll write the value of variable x is now we will write percent d because it is an integer variable that's why percent d and it is in variable x now we will not write m percent symbol only x at last return 0 now let's compile the program so the we have to give one slash n also but otherwise both the statement came together now again build and run so this is our output location of variable x is 0 0 0 some 0 0 and here 6 1 f e 1 c and this is a hexadecimal number the memory location is specified by a hexadecimal number and the value of variable x is 5 now what if i define another variable int y and y value is equal to x now i want to know the location of variable y also let's store or uh, let's copy paste the statement and here we will show the address of y in next line now compile so the first address is x address is sorry here i have not changed this is y actually and this line also let's repeat here will show the value of y now compile the program now see the location of variable x is 6 1 f e 1 c and location of variable y 6 1 f e 1 8 and the value of variable x is 5 and the value of variable y is 5 because i have written x equal 5 and y equal x that's why both the variable are defined as 5 and 5 so i think you have uh, you have understood what is a pointer it actually save the location of a variable now if we want to know the size of the address x if i want to know the size of the address x operator let's see size means if I want to know how much character or how much information can store inside a variable that is for that we have uh, one library function that is uh, strlen let's try first let's try to find out the size of variable x so I am writing here one printf statement printf and here writing the size of variable x is percent d and it is stored in size of and inside the bracket will pass x size of is a library function and we are just calling it now let's save uh, compile the program I think here is some mistake
so the location of this one location of y is this one value of x is 5 y is 5 and the size of variable x is 4 because the integer can store 4 bytes of information now let's find out the size of our address so we will write printf the size of the address of x is we will write again size of and inside bracket now we will pass ampersand symbol and sorry here we will write directly percent u u is to store a uh, unsigned integer or uh, unsigned long number because directly on integer we cannot store that value we are in size we are getting such a big number hexadecimal number isn't it so we need a big memory spaces to store it that's why we are using it u so we are writing u after that we will write size of and inside the bracket we will pass ampersand x when we want to find out the size of any address we are writing ampersand and the variable name and we when we want to know the address of a variable then we just write the variable name that remember now see the size of variable let's keep a slash n otherwise it's becoming confusion the size of the variable x is 4 and the size of the address of x is 8 because that you unsign that one uh, there we can store 8 bytes of information so this how we can know the size of any variables now how to use pointer to write a program these things we will discuss in the next video in the first video I have just discussed how we can know the location of a variable and why the location of a variable is important I hope you have understood thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye